In this video, I will be going over the bull and the bear flag pattern, what they are and how you can trade them profitably for maximum profit. First, however, I'll briefly define what a chart pattern is. A chart pattern is a shape within a price chart that helps to suggest what prices might do next based on what they have done in the past. Chart patterns are the basis of technical analysis and require a trader to know exactly what they are looking at as well as what they are looking for. A bull flag pattern can be found in a strong uptrend. They are called bull flags because the pattern resembles a flag on a pole. The pole is the result of an uptrend and the flag results from a period of consolidation. Now let's move over to our live charts to see how to identify a bull flag pattern formation. In this Litecoin and Tether chart, we can easily identify a bull flag in this upward trend by a steep upward price action, the pole, followed by a slight retracement, the flag. The point of continuation or point of entry occurs when price action first breaks out of the upper edge of the flag. If this breakout occurs at a major resistance level or at a moving average, then it could constitute a great entry point into a trade. A second and safer entry point could occur once price action breaks above the upper point of the flag. A bear flag pattern can be found in a strong downtrend. They are called bear flags because the pattern resembles a flag on a pole, just the same as the bull flag. The pole is the result of a downtrend and the flag results from a period of consolidation. It is considered a continuation pattern because after the period of consolidation, the downtrend in action resumes. Now let's move over to our live charts to see how we can identify a bear flag pattern. On this chart, we can identify a bear flag by a steep downward price action the pole, followed by a slight retracement, the flag. The point of continuation occurs when price action first breaks out below the lower edge of the flag. If this breakout occurs at a major support level or at a moving average level, then it could constitute a great entry point for a short position or an exit point for a long position. It is considered a continuation pattern because after the period of consolidation, the downtrend in action resumes. First, we see that uptrend in price action followed by an area of consolidation where there's a slight retracement. The 20 EMA is providing support and price action has not dropped below it. Volume has significantly increased, which helps to confirm that this indeed could be a true breakout. A checklist that can help you better enter trades and exit them 
is as follows. Ensure you're in a defined uptrending or downtrending market. When prices begin to consolidate at or near highs with a defined pullback pattern, then begin to look out for the formation of the bull flag or a bear flag. Once price action breaks out above or below the flag, coupled with your other indicators as confirmation, could be a great entry or exit point to ensure consistent and maximum profit. The bull and bear flag patterns are a great setup for new traders to learn because they are easy to spot and trade once you understand the mechanics behind them. Like most patterns, volume must be present on the breakout. This confirms the pattern and increases the likelihood that the breakout will be successful. Well, that's all folks. I hope you've learned something from this video. And if you have, the only thing I ask is that you hit that like button, comment below because I do use your comments to better inform me of what other content to create. Share with your friends and family. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, but most importantly, don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you get my videos as soon as I upload them. And I'll meet you in the next video.